Okay, so this is the connecting IPFS track, uh, headed by Michael Rogers, who does not seem to be here. Um, do you want him? Okay, uh, one minute recap. We got a bunch of presentations about different implementations of uh, IPFS, uh, a lot of stuff in the cloud. Um, so what's the... Um, so one of the things here I have uh, is about the Elastic IPFS part, which would was nice to like uh, explain how it works and see the the production effects it had on the overall system. Uh, we had some interesting part about the DIDs, UKNs, and CIDs talking about uh, how to make it everything secure uh, and decentralized. Uh, we have the right we had the writable gateways, which was very interesting. Talking several things about that. Uh, yeah. Basically, that people are interested in simple clients that can use UCANs, and that there was a difference between uh, the kinds of applications that people have when they're using gateways in a cloud infrastructure or gateways in a browser um, or as service to service the browser. Um, so yeah, learnings, there were vendors which are already starting to provision Elastic EIPFS in their own infrastructure and had good experience doing so just by reading the code and docs and these guys didn't even have to know that they were doing it. Um, W3Name works around shortcomings of IPNS. There was a little bit of controversy on that thing. Talk to <laughs> Mo about it. Um, we can run libp2p and bitswap in Cloudflare workers. Um, Metrics-focused development is very valuable. Gateway operators have different priorities, and different IPFS implementations are needed to support different needs. There are some things we need to do in the Elastic IPFS to make it even better, uh, like improve the way you're using the cloud resources, uh, like make the implementation uh, more agnostic to, to the cloud, and being able to uh, better use the, the services that are available. Uh, so, and one other thing is uh, uh, improving the way we're reading files to actually um, make like res less reads from them. Uh, and from Web3 storage and NFC storage, cache, 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 cache everywhere. Um, so in terms of like spec type things, we need IPIPs for writable gateways. There is currently a pre uh, policy API IP, IP, um, so that needs to get reviewed, and delegated mutability with UCANs. Oh, we need uh, s some more spec stuff around delegated mutability with UCANs in W3Name. Um, these are some milestones that we had from the different groups. Uh, Q3, draft of writable gateway IP, IPs. Uh, Q3 of this year, draft elastic IPFS multi-cloud strategy. Also Q3, get that policy API, IPIP, gather, gather stuff, maybe uh, get some feedback. We're doing an IRO cloud release at the end of this year. Um, and then, did you wanna? Oh yeah, and uh, we need to do the, the shipping uploads directly to, to Elastic FFS using the UCANs and going like directly from uh, the client to the object storage to make it uh, a trusted, a trust process. Thanks, That's guys. That's it.